guess what? I'm bringing you another shopping video today. My name's Melissa. If you're new here, if you're just joining my channel, welcome. I do these shopping videos occasionally, probably once or twice a month, and I love them. I go to various big box stores, Lowe's, Home Depot, and guess where I just pulled up? I pulled up at a Walmart. I have not done a shopping video at Walmart in a while. I really want to go to Lowe's too, so I'm probably going to include both of these for this video. I'm really excited. I haven't been to this Walmart before. There are so many Walmarts in this area. I hope this Walmart is really good. It looks really pretty from the outside. There's palm trees. It looks like a nice Walmart. So I'm excited to go in and see. I want to look at the spring decor and see what they have. And I want to see if they have any plants here. I don't know what it is lately. I am just on a plant buying spurge. I bought another alocasia online that I saw on Instagram. It was an instant purchase and that is so unlike me. So stay tuned for an unboxing video when that gets here because I have never bought something so fast in my life. I just saw it. I bought it. I don't know if I got a good deal on it or not, but we shall see. But yes, I'm excited to go in and take a look. So let's go check out Walmart and then I will take you to Lowe's next. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. 347. Looks like you just get the egg chair. I want one of these so bad. <laughs> Looks like they have some planters here on the end. They're only $5.96, which is not bad at all. Look at how pretty those are. Those would fit a uh, Maybe a six inch pot. Maybe, no, I guess a five inch. They're almost six by six. So they have this pretty gray. It has um, a sheen up top, a rim. And then they have a blue and they have a white. I might, I might get one of these white ones. And they have a drain hole for $6. Those are so pretty. I like the gray too. They're all pretty. I'm not sure if this Walmart has a ton of spring stuff out yet. This is a watering can. I wish they had this in white. This is actually so cute with that spigot. Cause I feel like I'm always trying to reach back and water plants and I have a hard time getting back there sometimes. Oh no, should I get one of these? They're $7.97, which is not a bad price. That is really adorable. And they have um, this copper one too. It's in like a spear shape and it has a long spout. This one's a little bit more expensive though. It's like twice as much. And they have these gray ones. These are only $3. You're definitely like, you can tell they're like a cheap plastic. This one is really cute though. And if you're looking for like big outdoor ones, they have up top here, this one's only $6. And they have one that has like a shower, um, you know, like for a shower, one of those spigots. And that one is $20. Jackpot. <laughs> Let's see what they have on this end cap here. Uh, not really much, just some outdoor gardening tools it looks like. They have some watering globes here. These are great if you're going on vacation for your outdoor planters, just to keep them moist a little bit longer. Looks like more gardening tools over here. And some gloves. This set is really cute. I love the green color. That is $12.97. Oh, here's some more watering cans. These ones are cute. They have a blue one here for $26. This kind of orangey tone one for $15. And they have a cute little blue one here. This one is $10. Lots of plant pots. Holy. I have one similar to this one I got here last spring or the year before. I can't remember. That one's only $7. It's a nice... Um, a nice like heavy duty ceramic. 
that's pretty good for that price because ceramic can get heavy. This little round bowl one is really cute. This one is $14.97. We have some of these. Kind of feels like a ceramic. Two different sizes. This one is $6 and then we have $11. We have this hanging, oh, this is really heavy. This one is 16. It's pretty, but it's heavy. You would, you would honestly have to have something really secure. You wouldn't be able to just hang that on anything. Yeah, especially when you put a plant in there and water it, that is, that is super heavy. And this one is adorable down here. Oh no, there's only one. Oh, I don't know how much this is. I wonder if it's in the wrong spot. I really like that design. You'd have to fit something shallow in here. But this is so cute. Uh, oh no. I really wonder how much this is. I'm gonna sit it in my cart and we'll see. Here's one that is $8. I'm not a fan of pots that have like a slender edge like this. Just me personally. <laughs> they have some plain white ones up top, some smaller, medium, and large ones. There's this planter here. It's a five inch ceramic for only $4. $4 for a nice ceramic. That is such a good find. And then we're moving on to some gray and black colors. This one is really cute. If you love a black pot, this one's only $5. That is cute. I love the zigzag of that. Oh man. <laughs> we have some gray ones. These are $10 and $8. And we have some more like gray tone ones. Here's another hanging one. Yeah, that one's just as heavy. I don't know what you call this one. This one is almost $6. It's like a kind of feels like a ceramic, but it's not. It has like this wood appearance to it, I guess. And then here's some neutral, just plain black ones. That shape is kind of cute. These ones are $6. And then we have some blue ones for $4. Here is a blue one for $9 and some larger ones for $22.97. We have some baskets here. This one is $23. It has a black handle. And then we have this one here for $19. Oh, I missed this one too. This one is a wall planter. It says it's a three pack. I can't tell. Oh, here they go. They go onto your wall like that. And this is $25. Oh, I like this one too. That is a cute pot. Oh. Um, indoor, outdoor, eight inch. I like that it's flat. I can't, it has drain holes, but I can't tell this material though. It is $10. I do really like the look of that one. I wish they had that one in white. They have some more stuff on the top shelf that I can't get to. I guess just some extra planners. And then here in the center, they have this boho planter plant stand. It is with the legs that you connect. And it has a plastic insert, which is nice. This one is $30 though. But it's like this rattan kind of material. And there's like a galvanized one here for $22.97. Here's a few more plant pots. This one is a clay pot for $5. And then they have the saucer tray that you can get for $3. And then they have the next size up. Look at these cute gloves. They have cactus print on them. They're $13. On this side, they have lots of cute plant stands, you guys. I'm obsessed. More garden tools. I have these Fisker shears. I actually have both of them. They're both really good. 
I, I love these ones. These ones are 13. Starting with the plant stands, this one looks really good. It's a metal stand. It's like a gold and a white base. And this one's $12.97, so $13. I feel like that's a good deal. And they have lots of metal ones. They have a gold one for $10. And these ones here, these black ones, it looks like they're only $7, $6.52. And on the bottom, they have a boho basket for $15. I guess it's like an upside down plant stand. In a way, the pot goes up top. So that's kind of cute. And then they have a white one here, or a black one with a white base. This one is, oh, this one, the tag is saying 27, but I think that must be mislabeled. They have some of these boho wooden, um, they're calling it a plant stand. Oh no, the tags keep falling off. Oh, so that's what that one looks like. You can assemble little legs on it, I guess. And it holds a pot up to 11 inches in diameter. That's really cute. That's a cute design. This is $13.88. And then they have these ones over here by Better Homes and Garden. Again, one that you assemble the legs on. And this one is $12.88. So those are cute too. And here on the bottom, they have more plant stands. They have a three-tier one. They have this metal plant stand. And then some other various ones here looks like these are like 18 to 20 something dollars here's another three tier one for 20 dollars and then up top it looks like there's some various terrarium supplies they have this nice terrarium for only 18 and then you can get the dried moss here as well as like a kit that you can do. And there's white and black stones. And they also have some of these you can do like a hanging terrarium or like an air plant holder. These are really cute too, 12 um, and $13. Macrame cords here for $8 and that's what that one looks like. They have some expandable plant stands for $8. And I think this probably only includes one. Yeah, it's just one plant stand. And they have some propagation vessels. This one is 15 and that one is 15. Those jars look really cute. They have some pot feet here for $3. And they just have some various watering globes again. They have the plastic, um, you know, protectors. And they have some other plant stands there on the bottom. And up top, it looks like they have more supplies. They actually need a pump sprayer. I need one of those ones there. So what they have if you're looking for pump sprayers to water with, those are useful. I don't know a price of that. I don't see a price on those ones. I'm impressed. I feel like they have some really good stuff this spring. And it looks like they have more stuff around the corner outside. So I'm gonna head there next. But yeah, so many cute pots. I'm just so impressed with all these big size plant pots out here. They range from like 20 to 25. There's so many of them. They look just like Lowe's, except I feel like the prices are better. This one here I really like. It's like a stone appearance. This one is 20, but it looks so much more heavy duty, I guess. They are so pretty. I like that big white one there too. Some of these look way more expensive. And there's some like smaller ones, plastic ones over here. They have more of these saucer trays. This round one is really pretty. This one's kind of expensive though. This one is 30, but still that shape and everything is really pretty. All right, let's see what kind of plants they have. There's some more on the other side too. Let's see. 
Wow, look at these huge peace lilies. This one definitely wants some water. Aw, this one's just thirsty. Poor thing. And they have some carnivorous plants, maybe? Oh no, this is a pitcher plant. Oh, that's interesting. It's like a baby one. Well, that's cool. How much are these? Um, five forty-seven maybe. They have the pitcher plant, and then they have the Venus flytrap. They're very uh, tiny though. They have some fiddly fig trees, and it looks like a Monstera deliciosa here, like a juvenile one. The Monstera is twenty-five. You get a nice pot with it. Same with the fiddle leaf figs, they are 25. I feel like they're a decent size. There's some corn plants here. They are $20. And there's some Diffenbachia for 20. I love this one. So pretty. Look at the color on that. We have Dracaena marginata for $20. Oh no, look at the sad ficus. Oh, this one is sad. That's a burgundy rubber tree. And there's some philodendron birkin here. The birkins actually look really happy. These guys are $15.87. Yeah, they look really healthy. Back there, it looks like some, maybe some bonsai. I can't quite tell what's over there. And then there's some red anthurium here. And they have beautiful orchids. Look at that color. That's just beautiful. So pretty. The orchids are, I don't know if I see a price. Oh, I think they're 15 something. On this side, oh no, we have very sad Calypheas. Oh, they got dried up probably from the cold. Oh no, that makes me sad to see them this way. They are 15.97, poor things. And we have lots of silver dragons. This one looks really happy, the new leaf. Some are a little sad. They're either thirsty or they've gotten too cold. And there's some more dragon scales up here. Wow, look at these begonia maculatas. Holy, these ones are 20, 1984. Very impressed with the leaf size on these. Overall, they look really happy. I mean, that's a pretty good plant size, I think. We also have some Aglionemas here. It looks like there's a few different kinds. There's this color, there's one that has more pink, and then there's one that has some more of like the lighter pink. And the Aglionemas are $15.97. And they have some snake plants here for $15.97, as well as some ZZ plants for the same price. And then we have more Diffenbachia, we have some money trees for $15.97. Here's a couple more Birkins. These ones are a little bit more sad though. On this back side, we have more sad. These are a Synopsis, True Behind Moonlights. I bet you it's from the cold front that we had this past weekend. They were probably out here, so that's cold damage. We have some Dracaenas. There's some Raphidophora Hea eyes that got a little cold damage. And look at these big cacti though. A lot of them are blooming. Those are cute. They are $15.97. And there's some more down here in the front. There's some sago pumps here for $15.97 as well. Those ones look, um, I feel like those ones look pretty good. And we also have some more plants over here. Some do look pretty sad. This one is called a Doherty Ficus pomulia. I've never heard of that one. Huh. There's some ivy here. And then these all look like a lot of golden pothos. The golden pothos are $10 in the hanging baskets. We have more ivy up top, and then we have raven's easies. These look like they've gotten a little bit of cold damage too. The ravens are $20. Here's some syngonium in hanging baskets. These are $20. And we also have some heartleaf philodendron. Just the regular green kind. These ones should be 20 as well in the hanging baskets. Here is a, looks like some kind of Tradescantia. Baby Bunny Bellis. Has a really cute purple underside. 
And we have some croton and smaller plants here. And then more golden pothos, more sad plants. There's some sad Diffenbachias. Let's see, some smaller plants, some, looks like some jade. There's a couple bromeliads here, and here's some smaller ones. These ones are $10. What are you? Oh, that is a fake plant. <laughs> we have some begonia rexes. And we have some more smaller plants. Diffenbachia, Tradescantia. Some more cacti some aloe vera. There's these succulent arrangements for $10.97. That one's cute with the little domino cactus. That is adorable. These are actually really cute. They, they actually look pretty happy. Look at how cute. Oh my freaking goodness. These ones that have the fake flower, but there's a bunch of real flowers you can see popping out. Yeah, I feel like for I know we got a little bit of bad weather, but I feel like for the most part, they had a decent selection here at Walmart. I'm definitely gonna have to come back. This Walmart, I am super impressed with. Like this whole entire garden center is huge. And the rest of the garden center, they have a bunch of empty tables, which I'm sure once spring gets here, they'll be putting out a lot more stuff and plants. And then they have more pots back there, potting soils. They have all kinds of like furniture there in the middle section so much i am super impressed i i am definitely adding this walmart to my list to come back and yeah i might browse the plant pots a little bit longer and see if there's anything else i might want to snag while i'm here and then we will be heading to lowe's here shortly <laughs> with these hanging baskets of Hoya. This is the Bilobata. I love mine. They look really, really happy, you guys. I think the Hoyas from the big box store, if they're not like super overwatered, they're just really happy. Some of my happiest Hoyas come from the big box store. Those are so nice, such happy Hoyas. Look at this little cutie. I think this is a Cupid Peperomia. Yes, it is. It is so cute. Those little leaves. That is adorable. Looks like we have some ivy. A purple pleasure plant. There's a dark mystery. And then some golden pothos here up top hanging. Oh, and these are $19.99 in these hanging baskets. Welcome to voiceover Melissa. I have to do a voiceover in the store because do you see that? That is a radio. I honestly believe some employee plugged that in. You guys, I can't even tell you how loud the music was in this store. So disappointing. I feel like I couldn't even shop because it was so loud. And yeah, so now I'm going to do a voiceover just for Lowe's. And this is a cart here at the one of the end caps. I didn't really see anything too new. And this section here always has a ton of Costa Farm plants. They had lots of Syndapsis Trubii Moonlights. They had some snake plants, pretty large Raven ZZs. I think these were around $34.99. And then they had some of these larger Caladiums. And oh my gosh, these peace lilies were beautiful. They were so big. I think, I believe these were $26.99, roughly right around there. And then they had some Dracaenas and some corn plants. This cute rabbit foot's fern. And this one here, it, honestly, every time I touched it, I felt like a leaf kept falling off. I, I feel like it was really overwatered. Lots of golden pothos hanging up. And around this other side, they had these Monstera Adansoni eyes. You guys, I feel like the leaf size on these are so big. They're honestly, they're so beautiful. It makes me want to get another one just to have another one. Even though I have a big one climbing up, I don't need it. Lots of aglionemas. There were some bird's nest fern. These piece lilies here were a little bit smaller. And then these were the aglionemas. These were $14.99. So pretty. I love that like silvery dusting to them. Next to those, we had some fiddle leaf figs. These were $26.99, I believe, too. And then they had some of these Diffenbachias. 
Lovely, cute Marantas hanging up. Uh, I love them. They had some orchid cactus, staghorn ferns, more Hoyas. They had some good stuff, I feel like, this time. And here, there was a Syngonium hanging basket. And they had this beautiful Neon Pothos. I believe this one was close to 20, yeah, 1698. I think the pot was pretty cute. And some more golden pothos. They had lots of small little plants. These were like usually five or six dollars. They had some gonium, photonias, and yeah, just lots of good stuff. They had some of these coco damas. They had some bromeliads. They had this one here on the end. I love this crate. Lots and lots of bromeliads and orchids on this in cap. Varying sizes. And then I saw this beautiful um, Calithia, and this was a ficus. This Calithia rosapictia it was so beautiful. That new leaf was stunning. And this one, I believe, was 16, no, 1598. Very beautiful. I almost wanted to get another Calithia. I really did. <laughs> Yeah, more bromeliads and orchids over here. And this cart behind me, it wasn't really sad plants, but I think there was a cold front that came through. Some of the plants just looked kind of sad. There was this Calathea back here. And not really seeing like too much new. Same with this cart. I felt like kind of the same things. Some of these looked kind of sad. And then on this back, oh, never mind. I spotted this plant pot first. I almost bought it, but then I put it back. I like the design of it. I think it was seven something, so not too bad. But I just bought stuff at Walmart, so I just, I told myself to put it back. <laughs> yeah, this backside, nothing really new. They had some of these Calatheas. This beautiful orchid. I love these Vanda orchids. That one was really pretty. They had some of these Peperomias here. And what else? More Calatheas. They had some little Monstera deliciosas. So cute. That little tiny fenestrated leaf. <laughs> these were $22.98. And they had some Philodendron here and some burgundy rubber trees. These were $22.98 as well. And they had this cute little peperomia. These pots were only $12.98. I thought that was a good price on these. They had a golden pothos and then this pink syngonium. And on the bottom, kind of more of the same. I spotted um, up top some, I think they're probably pearls and jade pothos. And then this uh, shelf here, I saw these cute pots. I love that blue one. And this neutral one here was very beautiful. I was almost tempted to get this one too. And then this end cap, I didn't really see anything too new. On the bottom, there were some more peperomia and some little succulents there. I thought those face pots were kind of cute. And then there was another ficus here. And some money trees. I saw this little like bambino alocasia. I was tempted, but it looked like it maybe had some kind of fungal or possible root rot going on, so I didn't bother with it. And there's these cute face pots. They didn't have hardly any succulents at this location. This was pretty much it. So not a whole lot to go through. And this was a clearance cart. I was looking here for a little bit. I didn't really see anything worth rescuing for me. I was tempted to get one of these caladiums, but honestly, I just didn't want to. I didn't want to this time. These were 50% off um, for this size, so I don't know. Part of me kind of wanted to get one, but then I regretted it. And I saw this clearance string of turtles. I, I was tempted to get this one too, but they didn't. I don't know. It looked kind of bare. I didn't really feel like that was worth the money, honestly and some more sad Calatheas. 
I, I just got back in my car. I just left Lowe's. Sorry I had to do a voiceover for Lowe's. I was not expecting to come in there and that music being so loud. So I wasn't fully satisfied. I still want to look at plants. So there's a Home Depot down the road. I'm going to stop in there and take a look around. If they have enough stuff, I'll show you guys. Um, we'll see. I'll take you guys along in there. And then I did get things at Walmart and I will show you that haul here at the end. Oh my goodness, look at these giant peace lilies. $70, they're huge. Oh my goodness. Lots of new majesty palms coming out. Some CZ plants for $26.98. Cute little cacti. These are adorable. I love this. This one is so cute. They're actually all really cute. I don't want to get poked. I imagine they're probably $10. Don't poke me. Please don't poke me. Oh, pooey. $16.98. Some cute little peace lilies. They're like tiny ones. Yeah, these ones are only $8. If you're just wanting to try your hands at one. That is adorable. If they had a variegated one, I would get one. I don't see any variegated one here though. They have a nice selection of small plants here. I feel like they all look really healthy. Look at the little green one there. That's so cute. Some fiddles here. For some big grow pots, here's a Calathea. More Calatheas. Some Syndapsis Trubii Moonlights. Lots of Birkins. Kind of more of the same plants. Here's some Global Green. I'm trying to see if there's anything really. Oh, no! No! Why did I have to see this? I heard someone say that there's a new Alocasia from Costa Farms. I think this is the Alani. Is this the Alon Alani one? Well, it's going in my cart. <laughs> no, why did I have to find this? So there's only four here. So that one looks like it may be overwatered or it has some kind of fungal infection. So we're gonna pass on that one. This one has a flower bloom. So we're gonna pass on that one. This one has a new leaf coming in, and this one here, they both look kind of good. We're going to go with this one. What else is here? Some Raven CCs. These Monsteras, um, Adansonii from Costa are really, really big. I am super impressed with the quality of those. Lots of Raven CCs and Rapid of Hay Eyes. These Costa Farm ones are 20. I'm not really gonna go through all these plants because they're pretty much the same plants every time I come to this one. Lots of big ones, like you name it, they have huge um, Birds of Paradise, Dracaenas, snake plants, burgundy rubber trees, CZs. Literally so many big plants in here. Well, here's some monsteras over here and fiddles. These guys are $20. And there's lots of monstera over here. Let's just take a peek, I'm curious. Some Aglionema. Can't wait to get another Words of Paradise for spring. Let me see what's up top here. There's some Maranta. Lots of Ivy. Peperomia. Hartleaf philodendron there. And there's some Orchid Cactus. There's a couple of those. These guys are $19.98. And the 
bigger hanging baskets. And then up top, there's some blue star fern there. There's a couple of those. Ooh, what is this? This is pretty. It is a Diffenbachia, but it doesn't say which type. That is pretty. That one is beautiful. Got more Zizis, Aglionemas, and Peace Lilies. There's lots more Monstera. These guys are $26.98. We have Raphidophora tetrasperma's here from Costa. Those are, they should be $19.98. Syndapsis trubii moonlights. Some more Calatheas here. Snake plants. More golden pothos. Aglionemas. Yeah, so many plants here. I'm just amazed at the selection of like huge plants at this store. I love this Home Depot. Looks like they have more begonias. Those are $14.98. Those look so happy. Raven's Easy's. I think the ones on the stand though are more expensive. Yeah. Oh, never mind. That's mislabeled. So the these ones here are $19.98. And I think the ones in these stands are $25. We got some money trees for $14.98. Lots more of these cactus planters. Ooh, these are pretty. These arrangements, they are, I wonder how much they are. I don't know, I imagine they're probably around 30 or more. Looks like they probably haven't put this stuff away yet. Here's some Peperomia, Cupid Peperomia. Sometimes they have some plants inside, I have to like quickly check. Here at the registers, it looks like they have some smaller plants. Oh, look at that little like tiger eye begonia. That's cute. A lot of the same ones here. I'm actually curious what this Costa Farm display is. Lots more of these big peace lilies and some fiddles. Wow. This is like the other Home Depot location. So this is all Costa Farms. They should be $19.98. Here's a couple more of the alocasias. Oh, and there's a couple more. They actually have a lot of them. Maybe I can find one that's a little bit happier. They have the Raphidophora Hayi, some more Raven Seasies, Syndapsis. Lots more of the Begonia, Raphidophora Tetrasperma, Monstera Adansoniae. I honestly, I'm so glad that I came across these. Monstera Peru, Calathea. They honestly have so many. I'm happy with this one though. I think this one is good. All right, I just got home. I'm going to do the like haul portion. I have a crazy Luna down here. I just fed them treats. I got these adorable, cute cat mugs. They're like elevated. I got three of them. They're stinking adorable. I got these at PetSmart. I think they were, I think they were $8.99 a piece. They were kind of expensive, but I saw these and I could not resist you guys. First up, we got our plant that you saw the last store, Home Depot. This is the Alocasia Azalani. Look how beautiful. This plant is really, really dusty. 
I don't know if it's gonna like pick up on the purple tones to it. I think it's focusing on me. Ow, isn't that beautiful? So this one I thought looked the healthiest. It has a new growth in there and it has several leaves. And yeah, it was 1998, it's from Costa Farms. And I'm really excited to have this one. I have been on such an alocasia kick, you guys, such an alocasia kick. And I think this one is really, really beautiful. And I'm really happy for it. I didn't, honestly, I didn't do a thorough spider mite check while I was there. So I'm gonna probably wipe the leaves off just because they're really dusty. And it does have a death plug. You can, you can see it. And usually any plant from Costa Farms you can expect that. And it's just in this cocoa core, wet, dense mess. <laughs> so I'm gonna let it acclimate to my space. So probably next weekend, I'm gonna give it a repot, maybe, or even maybe like Thursday or Friday. I'll see how it does. I don't wanna shock the plant too soon. So I'm gonna let it just kind of sit here and adjust. The soil is pretty wet, which I don't really like, but I feel like if I go digging in here right away, it's gonna probably get angry at me, especially when I go to remove the death plug. So I'm gonna let it sit down. I'm not gonna do anything with it. I'll probably just wipe the leaves and I'll probably put a little sticky trap here cause I'm pretty sure if it doesn't have fungus gnats, I'm pretty sure there's larvae in here because they were flying around this area that they were in. So that is the plant that I got. And I'm gonna show you the haul that I got at Walmart. And I wanna show you one other thing that I didn't film. I stopped in Target again. I um, had to get a few things and I really quickly wanted to check the dollar section one more time to see if I could snag a couple more of those boho planters, but they were all gone, but they did have something else in stock. I was really wanting this last time. This is the cute cat pot. It was $5. I mean, look at that. It's adorable. It's ceramic, it has a drain hole. What I'm thinking I might do is fill this up with fluval and put like a prop in here because I don't have a pot or anything that would fit that. I would have to plant into here. But I think filling this up with fluval would be really cute. Maybe an alocasia, maybe I'll do that. In the dollar section, I found two more things that I didn't see last time. There are ceramic trays. They were $3 each. This one, I don't know what kind of color. It's like kind of like a green. It's a little bit darker than what it's showing on camera, but it has this speckling in it. And yeah, it's like a little saucer tray. Definitely, I feel like that would easily fit a six inch plant very easily. And then this one was kind of cute. It was rectangular. It has little speckles in it as well. And I figured this one, maybe you could fit like maybe two four inch plants. I figured that maybe would be cute. I don't know, I couldn't pass it up. They were $3 each. So that's what I got at Target. And then let me show you what, I didn't get anything at Lowe's. Honestly, I was so mad that the music was so loud in there. So I browsed around, I didn't see anything new per se, so nothing that really caught my eye. So I didn't get anything in Lowe's. And then Walmart, I kind of got a few things. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take my receipt out from Walmart because I don't remember how much this stuff cost. All right, so let's see. <laughs> All right, we'll start with this. This was $7.97. This is a cute watering can that I showed you. It had this spout. I don't know, it's just something about it spoke to me. It holds one liter total. It's plastic and I figured it'd be really cute if I could like reach behind on a shelf and water something. I'm not gonna make a mess everywhere because I tend to use my watering jugs a lot and I make a mess with those and that little squirt bottle, which I have to keep refilling often. I still have not bought a bigger size of those. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of, I mean, for $8, I just thought this was adorable. It was really cute. And then I did end up getting one of these pump sprayers. I don't know the quality of this one. This one was $7.98. It's the like one of the cheaper ones I found. The ones on Amazon I was looking at were like 20 something dollars. So I'm gonna use this for my sulfur treatment for my plants. Just fill it up with water and add some sulfur in here and then I can just like jet spray them. So I'll probably do that um, this coming weekend. Today's Friday, so sometime this weekend. I will spray them down again and check them because I have not done that yet. <laughs> and then the next items, I got three plant pots. I could not resist. Okay, so this one here, this is the black one. I wasn't going to get this, but because I don't really, 
I don't really have a lot of black in my collection as far as nursery pots go, but I really liked the zigzag design of this one. For some reason, I just thought it was really cute. And this one was $4.97. It is like a ceramic and it has a drain hole. And then I accidentally chipped it in the car on the way home. I guess it banged against another one and so I chipped it. But that's okay. I'll probably just I have like a black permanent marker. I'll just do that and then this will be the back side. You won't even notice it with a plant in here. But I feel like this would definitely fit a four inch really well. I think the size says 5.6 inches in diameter and four inches in height. So this would actually fit one of my five inch nursery pots, I feel like, if it's 5.6 inches. So yeah, I just thought for $5, it was a really cute design. Next up is this white planter. This one has the like trim. I don't know if you can see it has that glossy trim. And this is like a stone kind of, I guess, planter. It says, it doesn't really say what it is. It just feels like, it's not really ceramic, but it says IVO, six inch IVO planter white. And this is 5.98 inches in width. So this, this, pro, this wouldn't fit a six inch. You'd have to do a five inch or smaller. And it's six inches in height. And it has little foam feet on the bottom of it. The outside was marking up very easily. So this does scuff and mark up. I noticed from the previous, I tried to find one that was the cleanest. So I don't really see any markings on this one. But yeah, I just thought that was really cute. I like the white design. And I got one more planter. This one was an eight inch and it was $7.88. And it was this one here. This is probably my favorite out of the bunch. I just thought that was so cute. So it says eight inches. So it is kind of an interesting design. So I have eight inch nursery pots, but they're kind of deep. So it wouldn't fit one of these without part of it sticking up. So I honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna use this for, honestly. This one is a ceramic, I believe. Uh, it doesn't say. The inside isn't really glazed. It's kind of like a stoneware, but the outside is glazed. It does have a drain hole. So it would definitely fit one of my five inch pots in there, but then I'd have a lot of gaping, unless you do like some kind of bushy trailing plant in here and that it would cascade over would look kind of cute. I don't know, I just really liked it. I just love the elevated plant pots. So I'm obsessed. I'll have to find something for it. I'm not sure what I'll do yet with that. So my total at Walmart for everything was 37.19, which I didn't think that was bad. So for three plant pots, the pump sprayer and this for $37, I thought that was a good deal. And yeah, I'm really happy with alocasia and the cute little stuff I got at Target. So that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am gonna be on a no buy between what I spent last week on my last shopping video between what I spent today. I am on a no buy probably until spring. I'm not buying any more plants, not buying any more pottery or anything like that. So February is gonna be a no buy for me the rest of this month in February. That is gonna be my goal. <laughs> so that is all for my haul. I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for me. And if you're new here, I would love to have you. Don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the shopping trip. I do wanna go thrifting. So after my no buy sometime in March, I do wanna do that and check out some local places to see what I can find. So yes, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Take seven, why can I talk? I cannot talk. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for, thank you guys so much for, I did four, four. It is four, not fur. Four. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't do it without laughing now. <laughs> Bye.